you're up against a, a gyrocopter, a hero that has no escape mechanism. I can see that definitely working out for them. So they a dragon they can. Your hero. Mm, DK, so... It's a very Virtus Pro looking lineup. Finally, that's exactly the case here. Luna, a Rubik, as well as a Naga Siren. Gonna take some damage. And you want to do this against the Disruptor. The very single target focused hero doesn't come with the easiest of disables as... Here we go, Ramsey's taking a lot of damage. Even if he rages, he might just get too low. Yeah, he's actually very low here. Has to pop his rage and turn, but the damage comes in from Cuckoo too fast. So powerful. That bottom lane, the dive is there, Raven. Raven. Big trouble here, but he does have a wand as well as a healing south. Dodges the ice shard, the snowball's gonna land. He gets off the wand, survives a little bit longer. It was a great effort, Raven. Perfect angle to lock them both out. Ramsey's pops rage to make sure that he can try and get the bounty rune, but it was actually picked up by Sam H instead. He goes for another oh. one and uses his burrow strike to get that. They do have a sentry though. Was that bounty really worth it, Sam H? Well, oh, he can if he can get to the high ground here. Burst strike away! No, oh, there's gonna be a snowball. Goodbye. They do manage to grab solo at the same time. Yeah. So nice rotation. They're gonna make it again onto mid, but Round Armel is two. low. Trying to kill no one. Ensnare first. Cuckoo. Okay, they've got the call down. That's a decent amount of range damage. Armel's gonna come in with a rocket barrage. The magic damage is gonna be enough. Roger. Not gonna go for that kill on the support that was so low. Doesn't wanna give up on all this creep experience. That's what I'm talking about. TNC are so good at the vision game and oh, once there, again. All right, try, try, try a third time. The call down coming in. He tries to go for a snowball, but the telekinesis stopped him from getting close enough. So Roger, he does the snowball late. Now gonna get There's caught by doom. doom. At least Pasha will make sure the gyrocopter goes down. The life spill will help him out there. TNC in shambles now. Needs to be able to use the burrow strike to separate some of these cores away from Cuckoo. He will survive. Pasha in deep here, but they've got the ensnare on the life seal, so they're gonna try and go for him instead. TNC, I'm not sure if you really want to go for this too much longer, though. Just be happy with the the kill that you got on the dragon as well as the tusk. And the four-on-four four rotation. They still want to go for All this. Right. The net is there. They've got it in there, and they do manage to pick up a telekinesis, but kind of uh, oh, overlapping their stuns. Yeah. No one learns his place. This is the, fir the fifth attempt that they're going for. It's only eight minutes in. The ward... He thinks it's going to save him. Okay, Here come the Mass TPs. Deep, he's already coming in. The call down is going to be a lot of damage with the Burrow Strike. They will be able to kill the Dragonite pretty quickly. No! This time around, Roger does get the Snowball save, and no one will be able to walk it off. Sam H, he's going to be the one who's a little bit in trouble here. Does have a Burrow Strike up. Thinks about turning on to Pasha, but thinks better of it. He is dangerously low. The Infernal Blade does a lot of damage over and time, and he him. gets him with the... Oh, man! He almost got the Burrow Strike ahead of the Ice Shards, too, but the Ice Shards hits him first. Get it off, though. Now Rams is going to come back in as they finish off Roger. Oh, look at the shard. Still, though, it's going to force out the Burrow Strike, and it traps in Cuckoo. A Doom onto the Naga Siren to make sure they can't get off the sleep. Sam H hiding away in that invis, and Naga Siren is fast enough to run away as well. Cuckoo manages to steal the Hel Hellbear Smash, slowing down Pasha. Can he actually get out? He's got 14 stacks of Magic Wand charges. Tim's targeted by the Disruptor. Anything they can to be able to stop this Naga Siren, even the Rage. But it looks like Tim's will successfully get it off and get a little bit of space. Maybe underneath this tower they can survive here. Illusions going out. The real team has been is. found. They know exactly which one is the real hero. They will find him underneath the tower. Sam H cowers behind a kinetic field, spots him out for a moment. And now Pasha thinks about going for the dive. He does have a bro strike though. Use it to get onto the other side of the trees. And Pasha will have to give up on that kill. Still though, it seems that perseverance was the key to victory for VP in that bottom lane. They finally do manage to pick up two kills. Last time we determined the Illusions, the Terror Blade. Okay, oh, TNC, we're gonna watch them kill Solo real quickly. He does have a Static Storm. He lays it out, but Raven quickly jumps out of it. Tim's is still gonna try and get the kill, but Raven needs to get out of here. Burrow Strike, not gonna stop Ramsey, though. He has the Rage out. Now the Rage is gonna fall. They need to get the Eclipse damage, but he gets bursted too quickly. BP, keep pushing forward, looking for more. They know Tim's is on the side. They've also spotted Armel. Josh is gonna be able to slow down. He does get the Doom out after the call down, but the Ice Shard blocks him in, ensuring they get the kill. Dominating Spree, still trying to kill Solo is Tim's, but the Dragon Eye has just stunned up Sam H. This is all worth it. If Solo dies for three kills, they will gladly take that trade off. Sam H on a sliver of HP gets a little bit earned love there from Tim's. Ramsey's 
can't quite catch up. The Burrow strike. MZ's is a little bit of an awkward kill, but he's the only one showing himself right now. Maybe from a long distance, they get the, get the Burrow strike, follow up the call down as much as damage as possible, managed to get the telekinesis. Wow, well executed. That was so well done. Sam H finds the crevice, gets the absolute max range on the stun. PNC. That will slow down the radiance of the life stealer. This is about the time that VP need to utilize that radiance to find success, but it's TNC who will push out as a They're team. Solo Run first. Solo. Now, all right, I've seen this story before. This time around, they'll kill Solo before he can get off the Static Storm is and maybe Roger. catch more. Roger spotted out by Tims underneath the Tier 1 tower, trying to slow him down with a sigil. The Life Stealer TP's in, and Tims, okay, actually cancels oh, that's that enough TP. To scare them. Maybe Sam H will continue to look for it. Indeed, Roger. he does. He overcommits the blink. He misses out. Roger is finally spotted, though. Roger can defend himself with a snowball. The call down's coming in. He'll dodge some of that damage, trying to get back to the tier two. The homing missile chases him down, but no one. He actually maybe they cancel the TP on the life stealer, but life stealer is still here inside of no one. So Pasha spotted out, does manage to get the doom out onto the Luna. No one no pushes one. forward. Finally, they pop out with Ramses. They're gonna blow up at least the support. Sand King's dead. That was BKB a BKB though. by no one though, and they've really grabbed nothing here Tim's. except for Tim's. Okay, they got Tim's as well. Managed to stop his TP at least. Not gonna use a sleep. Would get chased down. Ramses with the double kill. VP needed something like that. But this might be a little bit of a bait. No one's no coming one. in. He's about to come in. Doesn't have his blink dagger though. He's already blown it. Pops Dragonborn. Tries to go for the stun. Doesn't get, get it out. now. With Solo already dead. They're going to try and blow up the Naga They need to real quickly. Don't let him get off the sleep. And they won't. The call down wards away VP from pushing further. That could have been really bad for them. They feel strong. And they should. Ramsey's no farmed at this point. TNC, they built so defensively. I don't even know if they have the damage to kill him, but here they Epicenter go. Epicenter jumping forward, not gonna find anything. Sam H has to give up on this one. He has to burrow strike What's backwards just to survive. A glimpse back on a Sam H. Ensures it. Tim's thought about the sleep, but the BKB has already popped by They're no one. High ground. An explosive opportunity for VP. They punish the, the Sam King. Now they're going to punish Tim's as well. He's going to be caught. The Eclipse goes down, though, and no one doesn't have the BKB, so he melts underneath that magic damage. Already, a Doom popped out onto the Gyrocopter. He may have popped his BKB of his own, but a Walrus Punch stalled him up a little bit longer. Still, though, another Infernal Blade. They're overcommitting. Oh, no, they are overcommitting for sure. VP is super low against Raven's right-click damage. They do manage to back out in time, though. Okay, it's going to lock him down even longer. He's going to pop the Dragon form, threatening like he's going to turn, and Pasha will actually join him. They're going to catch the uh, Naga Siren here, trying to stop that, that song. That was optimistic. They are going to be able to get an Ep on Armel, as well as Raven. They're turning and fighting here, and Pasha's going to give up on that one. Now that with the BKB got activated, Armel's just going to go through these heroes, and again, no one without the magic immunity can't fight against these cores. An Ice Shard block is going to fail as TNC retreat back to the Shrine and Immediate immediately. Smoke. They're going to smoke up. They know BP with no uh, BKB and a buyback utilized by Solo. Solo can't afford to lose his life, even though he is the disruptor. He, he did just buy back. back here. So if you think your death timer is small, you're absolutely wrong. And look at Sam H. He's pushing forward. Doesn't Almost catch gets Pasha. the Burrow strike. A good blink. Great reaction from Pasha. But Roshan, it is. I say just about to be up. Not really. He wasn't able to snowball. He's just oh, kind of able. Doom trying to TP into a shrine. He's got the KB. Nice snowball save, but they're going to go into a world of hurt with the call down, as well as the Eclipse already out. They managed to get the Insnare onto the Doom and the BKB, but at the same time, they're going to lose their Naga Siren. So no song out. BP push back the rest of TNT. We're now with the static drop. Good hurricane fight. We managed to get out of Soul's that field, and now Sam H comes back in with the epicenter. They turn, looking to be able to kill Cuckoo, but these cores need to be able to finish off Armel, and they've done it too. Raven Whoa. Blow as well. Ramses is. is so damn big. He's feeling good about himself, but he needs to be able to get that kill on Raven to really make this worth it. Tries to slow him down. Lincoln's blocked the open wounds, and he is quite low. Rage is up in one second, though, and he's got the help of no one. He makes sure that the Rubik will go to the grave. It looks so promising for a second. All of a sudden, there's an angle, right? Blink. So, okay, blink in. They know one thing for sure. It's Good not snowball. in the Disruptor, but a Snowball save. And now, a Static Storm on a Sam H. He has no way out of this one, so they've caught him. A song goes out, stopping this fight in its tracks. They're immediately going to go for the, the BKB. They down. do have a call down, hitting a lot of these heroes, but a blink forward to no one. He's going to challenge the back lines, but they do need to be careful here. With TNC buying back, they're certainly in full strength. That was a sleep committed, and 
Rubik out of position. Has a snowball though. himself. Has a blink dagger as well, so he can instantly jump out of here. They try and pull him into a bad position, but he has the mobility. Now no one is going to jump forward. The Eclipse Bob, BKB, as well as Rage. That Eclipse is not going to be worthless, but Tim's managed to get a force tap on the other side. Now they need to focus on nullifying and dooming up this Luna, and they've got her dead to right. Surely they've got her backed into a corner, infest out, make sure they get every bit of damage. She ends up going down. The Doom is a little bit low. Cuckoo tries to finish up that kill, unable to do so. Armel thought about it, but has to give up on it. He realizing, especially with the rest of the TNT down with no buybacks. Cuckoo ventures out for a second. And a blink back instantly. Tier 3 now dead. No it, one. This Dragon Knight's not taking any damage. His Dragon form is about to wear out, though. So maybe this is where VP... Okay, they try and jump in. Try and see if they can actually get the Luna in the back lines, but the Doom is already out. Onto the Dragonhopter. He gets a call down out. They go for the sleep play, but... Oh, it is enough to be able to save Sam H. Life Stealer runs a little bit out of steam to get another force staff. Glimpse back on a Sam H. Can he throw a strike through? He's dead. Pull back to his doom by Glimpse. And VP keep trying for the objectives here. Even without Dragonforce, they're feeling confident. Now they might be able to get a little bit more with the Rubik. Not caught by the Static Storm. He had to get a force staff away. Roger gets him in the back line with a Walrus Punch. Now the charge goes down. They see the opportunity for Eclipse, but the Snowball save is out on himself. And Life Stealer gets the back line. So even if Roger dies the fountain here, he has forced the rest of the enemy team back far enough away that Naga Siren will end up dying without the help of Raven or Armel. Now Ramses, he spots Luna. No one in it to get the sun in. And without that, Luna is dead. A buyback is available. But TNC have already called it. Virtus Crow, they make the comeback. They were down 0 1 after a very dominant game one for TNC. Game two and game three. VP, though, persevere through. Yeah, VP, nice adjustments in the series, managed to close things out. A very competitive series. I think VP should be relieved to get away with this one. TNC, for the majority of last game, were able to match them step for step for such a long time. And at the end of the day, means we will have one Southeast Asian team here in the finals. We've got one Chinese team still in the tournament, and Virtus Pro.